I'd like to call to order the 12th meeting of the 2015-2016 Common Council. Will the clerk please call the roll for the meeting? Uh, yes, we have 14 present. Uh, Alderman Vanderweel and Alderman Drone are both excused. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next, we'll move on to the approval of the minutes from our last meeting, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, I move to approve. Second. Thank you for your motion and support on the minutes. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those who in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The motion passes. There are no resignations or appointments this evening, so we'll move down to 1.6, which is confirmation of mayor's appointments, city attorney. First one, submitting the following appointment for your confirmation. Uh, Roman Drawn to be considered for appointment to the mayor's international committee and the sustainable Sheboygan Task Force to fill the unexpired positions formerly held by Eldon Berg, whose term Terms expire on 4-18-16. Second, uh, submitting the following appointment for your confirmation, Jennifer Conrardi, to be considered for appointment to the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force to fill the unexpired position of Heather Cleveland, whose term expires April 25, 2016. And then finally, Rick Scroggins, to be considered for appointment as a business owner to the Business Improvement District to fill the unexpired term of Pamela Butler Channel whose term expires December 31, 2016. Thank you, Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, I move to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the appointments, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, item 1.7 is election of the Board of Waterworks Commissioner. Don. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move to open the floor to, for nominations for a member of the Board of Water Commissioners. A second. Thank you. Uh, the, um, the floor is open for nominations. I move to nominate Mark Hintz for the position. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Alderman Hammond. Thank you again. I move that nominations be closed and to direct the city clerk to cast unanimous ballot for Mark Hintz for the Board of Water Commissioners. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Mark, thank you very much. Is there any public forum scheduled for this evening? Not this evening. Okay. Next we'll go on to mayor's announcements. One of the businesses in our community has a significant anniversary that they're celebrating. I'd like Sean Paltzer from Acuity to step forward. Um, Sean is the Vice President of Marketing and, and Personal Lines. Today it's my pleasure to present this proclamation. Whereas Acuity began operations in 1925 and it was founded as the Mutual Automobile, Automobile Insurance Company of the town of Herman. Over the years, changed its name to the Heritage Insurance Company and in 2001 to Acuity. And whereas the headquarters in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, Acuity is nationally recognized as a company that specializes in property and casualty insurance that operates in 24 states, generates over $1.2 billion in revenue through 1,000 independent agency, and manages over $3.5 billion in assets. And whereas Acuity has earned many accolades for its financial strength, innovative technology, workplace environment, community philanthropy, and it was recently named uh, number three large company to work for in America by Forbes magazine. And whereas Acuity is committed to serving the community as well as its insurance needs, each year Acuity exhibits a strong charitable nature through numerous contributions, employee volunteer efforts, and other forms of social stewardship to benefit the many worthy causes. Acuity has pledged substantial capital to build, improve, and maintain facilities throughout our community. 
One of the largest contributions for the, was for the University of Wisconsin Sheboygan Technology Center, a 29,000 square foot building which addresses the technology needs of the community for the 21st century. And whereas in its 90 year business, Acuity has grown to become the 61st largest property casualty insurer in the nation, setting all time company records for written premiums, policyholder surplus, assets under management. Acuity was recently named to the list of super regional PNC insurers and has been named to the world to the ward's 50 benchmark group for top performing insurance companies for 16 consecutive years, putting Acuity in the top 2% of insurers nationwide. Therefore, I, Mike Vanderstein, by virtue of the office vested in me as mayor of the city of Sheboygan, to hereby proclaim that the city of Sheboygan expresses its best wishes to Acuity on the occasion of its 90th anniversary. Jane. Thank you for those kind words, and uh, uh, we're in this together and look forward to growing our business right here in Sheboygan over the next 90 years. So thank you again. I just wanted to let any of the residents out there know that if they have an interest in volunteering, we are looking for uh, more individuals to volunteer in the lobby of City Hall, uh, helping greet people and direct them as they come into the facility. Next, we'll go on with the consent agenda. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all reports of officers, accept and adopt all reports of committee, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the items in the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Motion passes. Under reports of officers, item 3.1 will be held for 4.1. 3.2 is an RO by the City Planning Commission, to whom was referred resolution number 72 of, 4, of 1516 by Alderman Thiel, approving the Capital Improvements Program recommended by the Capital Improvements Commission for the program period of 2016 and adopting the program for implementation and recommends the approval of the resolution. Alderman Thiel. Um, I move we accept and file and pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the capital improvements program? Alderman Donahue. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, I had questions regarding the line item uh, relating to City Hall design and construction. Just trying to get it here. And I believe that was in the amount of $350,000, if memory serves me correctly. City Hall design and construction, $350,000. If someone could just elaborate a little bit about what that um, is specifically for. Alderman Bellinger, did you want to touch on that? Sure. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I believe, Chad, if you could correct me if I'm wrong, it's for the um, the, the space assessment study, um, any, any future study and architectural needs, whether it be this building or somewhere else that should the city need. So it's, uh, it's to uh, move forward um, with the, the, the building use, whatever they come up with, and to allocate funds for that purpose. 
So it, it's not anything that has been predetermined or a specific at this point in time. It depends upon what comes out of that committee. Thank you very much. Does that answer your question, Alderman Donahue? It does not. If I could just please go ahead. Comment. Um, I, I think it, at least to some extent, answers my question. Um, but I have a, a continuing concern. Um, I, one, I am concerned about City Hall designing construction as a label, and that may not be totally descriptive. Um, the Building Use Committee at this point is um, at the point where it is looking at um, an RFP to, deserve, uh, to put out to, to uh, uh, get some bids on folks who might do a space needs assessment for City Hall. So that's sort of that original or original <coughs> building block, if you would, like how much space do we need? Um, interestingly, there has been a design that has been um, just very, very briefly sketched out of, from what I can tell, taking down the east wall of the uh, uh, public library and building an addition out onto um, 8th Street. I mean, not onto the street, but in that plaza area. Um, I have not seen, and I, I would expect there aren't any particular um, drawings that have been designed by an architect. It's sort of a, and it's a, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what, what's in mind, but it appears that it would merge the library and city hall. Um, and, and that may be something that the Building Use Committee and ultimately that the Council considers. But one of the things the, the Building Use Committee has not done yet is to perhaps contact, uh, obtain the services of, real, of a realtor who could direct us to buildings that might be available that we could um, look at moving into. Um, what I'm questioning at this point is just the amount of money, the $350,000. If, in fact, we decide to go ahead and, and build a brand new city hall, the architectural fees, the design fees, and so forth are typically part of the bid. And we would need to bond, I believe, for some millions of dollars to construct a new building. Um, so we, the $350,000 would not be to draw architectural plans, at least the building projects that I'm acquainted with, that's not quite how it works. Um, I, I don't have an objection to money being put into the City Hall conceptually. Um, I, I have a few issues with the, the Mead Public Library uh, proposal, but nonetheless, I'm sure that's just uh, very, very um, elementary or uh, preliminary at this point. But here's what I'm thinking. Tree planting did not make it above the line. Tree planting is in at $40,000. I think, and I don't mean to second guess the work of a commission or, or a committee, but emerald ash borer is here. We are going to lose a lot of trees in the next year. There's just no way around that. If you walk around the city, and I walk a fair amount in my district, the trees that we have are in really bad shape. I mean, if you look around, there are any number of trees that really should be coming down. So what I, I think would make some sense is for us to take um, $40,000 from that second line for City Hall design. That still leaves $310,000, which is a, a substantial amount of money to work with, and move the tree planting up, to, uh, up into the category of allowed projects. So we just drop that line down one and, and have the City Hall design and construction in at $310,000. So with that, within those parameters, that is my motion to amend the, the capital improvements uh, project. If is there a second to that? Hearing no second. I just want to address one point on your, um, your point about building a new building, because normally you have to have architects' plans drawn up before you're going to go and bid the building for construction. Um, and, and this $350,000 was intended to be used for either the redesign of this building and then you'd go out for bids or the re, uh, a new building being built and then you'd go out and, and, and get bids for that. Typically you're going to look at your architect before you, before you have the plans drawn. So I, I, and typically that is a part of the overall construction cost, at least in buildings that I've worked on. 
So, and I understand that. I just think trees are really important, and I'm a little disappointed that we aren't willing to spend $40,000. It's really nice to have a city where we're putting a lot of money into, into development and all kinds of things, but if you, go to, if you go to cities where there aren't trees, if you go on New York Avenue where the trees are gone, if you go on 6th Street where the trees are gone, uh, from a prior road construction project, trees were supposed to have been put in across the street from the jail, and that never happened. Trees are going down on Pennsylvania Avenue. Cities just don't look good when they don't have good trees. And we came back from the Dutch elm disease. We'll probably come back from the ash borer, but not to affirmatively put this into place for, our, for the city, to me, is, is regrettable. Thank you. Um, Chad Pelichek. cover two of the comments from Alderman Donahue. Um, first of all, the, the concept that she's referring to is a design build, and I don't believe we would do a design build. We would go out for an RFP and try to get a consultant, an architect on board first to design it the way we want, and then follow up with a um, d with the construction plans thereafter. Design build uh, brings a lot of issues in itself and we don't typically do that route as a government. The second thing in regards to the uh, tree planting, the I, I don't know the numbers offhand, but I know that a good portion of the trees would fall within low to moderate income neighborhoods. So the intent was to take some money out of block grant dollars next year and use that to fund maybe upwards of 30,000 of that 40,000, not knowing where the, all the trees are located. So the intent is to cover some of those costs with block grant and do as much as possible. Thank you very much, Chad. Seeing as there's uh, no second to the motion that was put on the floor, uh, we'll continue with discussion. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Okay, hold on just a second. Who made the first motion? Bill? And seconded by? I did. John did. Thank you. Fourteen eyes, one no. Motion passes. <clears throat> Items 3.3 through 3.8 will lie over to our next meeting. Items 3.9 through 3.14 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, uh, 4.1 is a resolution by Alderman Carlson authorizing entering into a contract with Intermedics Corporation for EMS Billing Services. And this also includes um, RO number 3.1. Alderman Carlson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, uh, under 3.1 and, I'm sorry, 4.1, uh, first I'd like to make a motion to suspend the rules. Second. Uh, there's a motion to suspend. Is there any objection? Please proceed. All right. Uh, next, I would like to accept and file the RO and uh, pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Alderman Boren. Thank you very much, Mayor. Uh, I've had an opportunity since last Friday on, on these two documents to speak with Nancy Buss, our purchasing agent, Bernie Romer, Assistant Chief uh, uh, Butler and uh, Chief Ramos, and I think th uh, and I appreciate the work that they've done on, the, on this item so far. I think we're headed in the right in the right direction <coughs> because we're going to be saving some money on what we're going to be paying the the uh, the new uh, billing firm, and also bringing in house <coughs> through the state uh, some of the tax intercept. That's also going to has an opportunity to save us some money. Uh, my concern is, and uh, I want them to go ahead and further explore this, uh, but my concern is uh, this is uh, very, very important because this is going to be a five-year contract, and after the city attorney and our purchasing agent and whoever is actually working on the two contracts, and there is going to be two contracts, one is for the billing service and is one is for the software company, I would like to see those final documents come back, uh, I would make a motion to refer those 
to the Finance Committee so that the Finance Committee uh, has an opportunity to look at those, those contracts. And in speaking with, with the chiefs at the fire department today, they were in support of that, having a, a few set of other eyes look at this before the council gives uh, their final approval on this, uh, these two very important documents. So whenever the appropriate time is, I'd like to make a motion to refer the final documents, the agreements, uh, to the Finance Committee, and then after, if they approve, onto the Council for final approval. I know that service, uh, time is of the essence because the contract with EMS runs out in the middle of October, but in speaking with our purchasing agent this morning, he indicated that EMS is, work, uh, uh, is willing to work with the city if necessary for a few weeks or a month uh, during this transition if that extra time is needed. So Second. I would, thank you. Thank you for those comments. <clears throat> um, Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mayor. I would like to hear from um, the PO and from the Chief of the Fire Department regarding that the conversation. I'd like to hear from them as well. Bernie, would you like to? We get Mike instead. Excuse All me, right. Alderman Boren. Was your motion to the documents we're talking about right now to no. refer? No, the, no, the final contracts. Okay, thank you. Can everyone hear me? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, regarding Alderman Boren, we did speak today. Um, time is of the essence, though. Uh, the contract expires October 11th, I believe it is. <clears throat> and um, I don't know, Bernie, you can advise me, but if uh, do we need to move <coughs> forward completely ahead today before we can make that offer to Intermedics? Or can we follow what Alderman Boren said and give approval for what we want to do from the council, but yet have somebody look at the final contract when it's written? That I don't know. What I had, what I had indicated to Alderman Warren was that if the, billing, the new billing company needed additional time beyond that contract date of a week or two or maybe a month to get everything in place, Alderman Bourne. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, my desire would be to see the contracts before they're formally signed, and that's why uh, I have no problem, and, and I'm going to vote for these documents to move them ahead tonight. That's necessary. Uh, but before the final contracts are signed, I think the Finance Committee should look at them, make sure all the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed. And I had a number of concerns that I that I understand are going to be incorporated into the document, but uh, I would like to have the Finance Committee take a look at the final <coughs> contracts before they're signed and then come back to the Council for final approval. Thank you. You're welcome. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, and I don't have a problem with the final documents coming back. I just, I think if we're going to do that, we need to make that part of this motion. Um, please, Chuck, um, make them happy. So I would, uh, and if I screw this up, Please stop me. But we have a motion on the table. I have a, well, I was going to amend. His motion? Make an amendment okay. that we accept and file, put the resolution upon its passage um, under the caveat that the final documents come back to finance for approval. Second. Tear off my microphone. Okay, we, we have a, a, an amendment to the motion. And who seconded? Julie did. Okay, and then under further discussion, Alderman Donahue. 
Um, well, <clears throat> uh, so Alderman Hammond has moved to, to amend the amendment. Um, I, I guess I don't have any problem per se with it coming back to finance. I have some concern about a company that would be willing to start implementing its services without a signed contract, which given our committee system and so forth would <coughs> at best be, at the very best would be at the time that the old contract expires. And so uh, to the extent that there's downtime, um, I guess I don't quite see the necessity. We do have you know, quite a few um, uh, well-qualified and, and, and paid staff to review contra contracts and so forth. And um, so I'm going to vote against it. I think we just need to move ahead and, and not do all this second-guessing and micromanaging. Thank you for those comments. Under further discussion, Alderman Koth. Thank you, Mayor. Um, personally, I'd like to see finance have this document because this has been a hot topic for many, many years. Um, it would be nice to have public input on a committee level instead of just rushing this through the Common Council. So uh, that is the reason to go to finance for, so we can have public input. Okay, thank you. Is there any other discussion on the amendment? See none, or the clerk, I'm sorry, Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. Um, could you, Sue, give yes. us a timeline then exactly when this would come back to the Finance Committee and then it would come back before Council so we know exactly what kind of date we would have something signed and implemented? Are you talking about these documents that are on the floor now or the contracts? The contract. I mean, because nothing, it's the contracts that apparently people are yeah, concerned issue. about. It depends on when the contract, I mean, if the contracts are drawn up between now and the next council meeting, which I believe is October 5th, mm -hmm. um, it can, I mean, a document could come in, if you're meeting next Monday, a document could come in directly from finance if the contracts are in finances on their agenda for their next meeting. It just depends on when they are available, I would imagine. And then that would come before the council, the second meeting of the month then? It depends. Mr. Modio would like to speak. Please go ahead. No finance committee meeting on the 28th. Oh, then that's not going to work. Uh, Alderman Bourne. From what I was told today, uh, a couple of weeks or a month is not going to make any difference either with the old billing, either with the old billing service EMS. In fact, Intermedics, from what I've been told, is basically going to aid in the transition from EMS to the new billing service. So, if there's a couple of weeks of lag time, we actually have to the middle of October before the contract expires. And I, from what I've been told today, a couple more weeks after that, based on the cooperation I've been told is going to take place between EMS and the new billing service, I don't think it's really going to be an issue. But I just think this is a, these contracts are very important. They're five-year contracts, and, and as I was told this morning, it doesn't hurt to have a few more set of eyes look at this before it's, it's actually approved. Thanks. Administrator Modio? Thank you very much. 
Alderman Boren. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, Alderman Hammond, would uh, with something this important, would you be cons would you consider uh, to make this work? Just calling a short finance meeting to uh, look over this one item. So, go ahead, Alderman Hammond. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. The reason the finance meeting for the 28th was canceled was well, a lack of agenda items, but um, B um, travel schedule. Um, so. I wouldn't be able to call that meeting, um, and um, I don't know if all the person cop and the rest of the finance committee would be available. So, we certainly could have a quick meeting, but it depends on whether everybody is available to be at it. Thank you, Alderman Carlson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I too also think this is um, a small attempt at micromanagement. Um, we have a mayor, and you're standing in front of us, sitting. I mean, we have a city attorney, an assistant city attorney. We have a fire chief. We have a couple. Of assistant fire chiefs, we have a chief administrator, we got some very strong people in the finance department. We found better rates for our ambulance service, which is in turn gonna bring more money into our general fund. There's an ulterior motive behind this and quite frankly, I'm sick of it. I'm gonna vote against this amendment. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Alderman Bourne. Thank you. Well, if you're referring, Alderman Carlson, for an ulterior motive by me, I have no ulterior motive uh, except, uh, first of all, I think the, the men and women of the fire department are providing an excellent service. My issue has always been the finances, and uh, this is going to be our third billing service now since we've been in this business, and I just want to make sure it's done right. And... Uh, uh, as many eyes as look at, look at this as possible. I don't think it's micromanaging. I think with a contract that's for uh, $350,000 and another contract to pay for software, uh, I, I just don't think there's, there's anything wrong with having, go, having this go through the committee, the committee uh, for its approval and then ultimately the, the council. But I have no ulterior motive other than I wanna see that we do the best we can on the collections. Thank you for those comments. Chief Romas, is there anything else? Mr. Amodio said what I was gonna say. Um, we've added it, I spoke to you, Alderman, and I appreciate your comments and you're correct, but um, we really, we wanna move forward with this. We need the approval, and the sooner we can get going on it, the better. If uh, it, it goes past that date, um, then uh, our previous biller, our current biller would charge us extra, you know, for that contract ends and then they would have to bill us after that and there's all this transition going on. It would be difficult at best. Administrator Amodio. Thank you very much. Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I'm not going to support this either. I think that we have a city attorney, we have a CEO, we have the fire department. Um, we have many people that work for us, and I'm not into or interested in micromanaging. But wondering about the vote, is it, I need to explain, because if the vote is to pass this, just that, or is the vote to pass it and have it go to finance? The amendment that we're voting on next will be to uh, send it to finance. Okay, thank no, you no, very much. No, no. Uh, not exactly. I didn't think it was just that. Finance. It would be to pass it and have the contracts come to finance. But we already have a motion on the floor to pass it that this is amending, correct? Right, and then there's okay. an amendment and an amendment, amendment to was, the amendment. We haven't voted on the amendment. Yeah, we we've only had one on amendment. amendment. Yep. I made a motion to pass the resolution. Alderman Hammond amended the document. There's been no vote on the amendment yet, so we'd be voting on the amendment. Correct. Right. Which is to pass, accept and adopt, pass the resolution, with the caveat that the final documents. 
but, uh, but I think her point is if we defeat this amendment, we still have a motion on the main motion where we can right. pass the documents. Correct. Correct. So there'll be an opportunity to pass Correct. the documents without Correct. going to yes. finance. Right. Right. Thank yes. you. So, so any more discussion on the amendment? Okay. <laughs> While they're doing that, Alderman Donahue. Uh, this is just a point of personal <coughs> privilege, so I'm confused. So I need, we do have two amendments. So the second amendment is to amend the, I mean, to be proper one, would be to amend amendment. the amendment. There wasn't a first amendment. Yes, there was. Yes, yeah, there I was. second amendment. Oh, I didn't hear him say move, move to amend. I just heard him say. Yeah, there was, like no second, there was no vote. He talked about making a motion later. He did not make an amendment. So the only amendment on the floor is the one that Alderman Hammond made in response to Alderman Bourne's comments. But you're saying there are two amendments on no, the floor? No, there's only one amendment on the floor. What's the amendment in your opinion? The one that Alderman Hammond made that uh, we would, you know, pass the documents and also send it to finance. That's part of the original. Contracts. Yeah, he combined part of the original motion in his amendment when he amendment. made it. So that's the original. So if that doesn't pass. No, no. The original was to put both documents upon. A motion to have pass. Sent to finance. Yes. I amended it to put both documents upon their passage, but also refer the final contracts to finance. Okay. If I can but even vote do no that. that Alderman Bourne. Thank you again, Mayor. I did make a motion to have it sent to finance, and I think Alderman Cobb You can't make a motion when there's a motion on the floor, so I ignored that motion. I'm sorry if I didn't state it. Oh, I did the, a, he made the proper um, motion when he made an amendment to the main motion, which was already on the floor. Okay, I, and I have no problem with what, what Alderman Hammond, uh, the motion that he made. It's just a different way of doing what I was asking to do, so thank you. Alderman Jose. Oh, Mr. Mayor, respectfully, there was a motion by Alderman Bourne and it was seconded by Alderman Koth before Alderman Hammond made an amendment to the amendment. Well, he can't make another motion when there's a motion on the floor. It's not allowed by Robert's Rules of Order. There can be an amendment to a motion when the motion is on the floor, but, but not another motion. Alderman Bourne's motion was first. Alderman Carlson's motion was first. Please. Alderman Carlson's was first. Alderman Carlson's was first. Under discussion, Alderman Bourne attempted to make another motion, and whether it was seconded or not, it's, it's, it doesn't, doesn't count because you have to have an amendment and then vote on the first uh, motion that's on the floor. So right now we're voting on an amendment uh, to basically um, uh, send this to finance and then we'd be voting on the main motion later to approve the documents. Is that correct? No. no. Well. <laughs> Who's on first? Yeah, I mean, there was, there, the original you've, you've, you've made an interpretation from the chair, the chair has made an interpretation that can be challenged from the floor that Alderman Boren's uh, motion was out of order. And that's, that's an interpretation that you've made, and uh, so far nobody's challenged that. And you've indicated that now, which would put um, Alderman Hammond's amendment as the proper motion. That, that, that's the interpretation that you as the chair have made, and you have the authority to do that. Okay, thank you. Alderman Hammond, your motion then, the amendment was to suspend and pass, file the RO, and have the contracts go to finance. Correct. The final contracts. The go final to contracts go to finance. For review. For review. Okay, so we're voting on this amendment. Uh, under further discussion, Alderman Boren. Thank you. Uh, I have no problem in voting for this, the, the, these two documents first. To go, uh, yeah. can't. Okay. You have to right. take them in reverse order, so the amendment is up next. All right. And Julie, did you second Don's motion? Yes. Yes, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay. Would the clerk please call the roll uh, for passage on the amendment? Do you know what the amendment is? You know, I really don't. Okay. The amendment is to suspend and pass the resolution and file the RO and to have the final contracts go to finance for review. So the addition is to have the final yes. documents go to... Correct. And this votes no. We still have an opportunity to vote. Yes. Just With to suspend and pass. Minus the okay. Yes, going. that's correct. Thank right. you, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> or city clerk, either or one. Or city clerk, which oh, you thank you. 
I'm, I don't, I think. All right. Okay, the voting is open. Not on my screen. I didn't. It's here. Right now it is. Yeah, it is. <coughs> That is what we're voting on. Well, it says nothing about voting on an, an amendment to Alderman Carlson's motion. It says suspend and pass the resolution and file RO and to have final contracts go to finance for review. That's what we're voting on. Okay. Okay. There will be another vote. Yes. If there, yes. Possibly. I mean, we should be voting on the, on the amendment. This is an amendment. I just didn't type the word amendment. This is a second motion. Survey says. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, the vote is five ayes and ten noes. Motion is defeated, or the amendment's defeated. Now the main motion is back on the floor to, um, to pass the resolution and file the RO. Right. Is there any other discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? All right, this is the final motion. Thirteen eyes, two noes. Motion passes. Under reports of committees, uh, five point one is an RC by finance to whom was referred resolution number seventy four of fifteen sixteen by Alderman Hammond authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the twenty fifteen budget to establish estimated revenue and appropriations for police state training aids and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing on all those, uh, oh, the mm -hmm. clerk has to call the roll for this one. Mm -hmm. Did you open? No. Oh. Is it opened? No. Not oh, yet. not yet. There it is. There we go. Okay. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is an RC by law and licensing to whom is referred pursuant to RO number 93 of 1516 by the city clerk license applications for the period ending in December 30, uh, it's it, December 31st of 2015 and June 30th of 2017 and recommends that the, the, de denying a beverage operator's license number 08 Five seven based upon her failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on her license application, her record of violations related to the licensed activity, and her record as a repeat law offender and failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Sir. Thank you for that motion and support. Uh, please proceed under discussion. Um, Trisha Weindorski, are you here? Trisha was invited to our meeting on two occasions and didn't appear either one. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. 
5.3 is an RC by law and licensing to whom is referred pursuant to RO number 93 of 1516 by the city clerk license applications for the period ending December 31st of 2015 and June 30th of 2017 and recommends denying the beverage operator's license number 0860 based upon his failure to accurate review all relevant convictions on his license application, his record of violations related to the license activity, and his record as a repeat law offender and his failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Please Second. proceed under discussion. Is Devon Terry Davenport here? Devon Terry was invited to our meeting on two occasions and did not appear. Is there any discussion on motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll in 5.3. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Moving on to 5.4, which is an RC by law and licensing to whom is referred pursuant to an RO number 108 of 1516 by the city clerk. License applications for the period ending December 31st of 2015 and June 30th of 2017. It recommends denying a taxi cab driver's license number 9884 based on her record of violations related to the license activity and her record as a repeat law violator. Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Is Marilyn Razzovalli here? She was um, invited to our committee and did show up. We denied her license in a four to one vote. She had in 2012 a hit and run curfew, no valid driver's license, driven an unlicensed cab, was charged with ob obstructing and resisting. And in 2013, she was charged with underage alcohol, hit and run and improper stop. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll in 5.4? Daryl? Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Five point five is an RC by law and licensing who is referred pursuant num uh, to RO number one oh eight of fifteen sixteen by the city clerk. License applications for the period ending December thirty first of twenty fifteen and June thirtieth of twenty seventeen. It recommends that beverage operators license number five three one four be denied based upon her failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on her license application, her record of violations relating to the licensed activity, her record as a repeat law offender, and her failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Lassard. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion. Under discussion, please continue. So, I'm Victoria Beaumont. Are you here? She was invited to our meeting, but um, contacted us and wanted to withdraw her application. Thank you. Uh, any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll in 5.5. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.6 is an RC by law and licensing to whom is referred RO number 93 of 1516 by the city clerk submitting license applications for the period ending December 31st of 2015 and June 30th of 2017. Recommends denying the ca taxi cab driver's license number 0. 848 based upon his failure to accurately reveal all relevant convictions on his licensed application, his record of violations related to the licensed activity, his record as a repeat law offender, and failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderman Lassard. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support under discussion. Okay. Is da David Allen Fisher here? He was invited to our meetings and did not show on two occasions. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll on 5.6. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Moving on to ordinances, 6.1 and 6.2 will be referred to the City Planning Commission. Under matters laid over, item 7.1 is resolution number 71 of 1516 by Alderham Alderman Hammond, Carlson, Donahue, and Koth, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2015 budget and appropriation for debt issued refinanced estimated revenue and appropriation for the city portion of Wisconsin, state of Wisconsin, DOA, Wisconsin Coastal Management Program for a wave attenuation study at Marina. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Uh, next, we'll move on to other matters received after the agenda was published. City Attorney. Thank you. 8.1 is an RO submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2015 and June 30th, 2017. That'll be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. 8.2 is an RO submitting a communication from Glenn Morical regarding special assessments and requesting that the city pay for water, water main damages he claims in his letter. That would be referred to the Finance Committee. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion. Uh, all those in favor of adjourning, please signify by saying aye. 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 We stand adjourned. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Yeah.